Hey guys, Lucky Dog's in the kitchen again today. Uh, hey, we're going to make up some uh, pork chops. These are uh, going to be uh, creamy garlic pork chops with mashed potatoes. We're going to do them up here in the Instant Pot. So, let's get started. Okay, we've added two tablespoons of butter to the bottom of the pot. And we're waiting for it to go to hot. We have it on the uh, uh, saute feature right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to saute our pork chops. We're using a thick pork chop today. So we're just waiting for it to uh, come up onto the uh, hot cycle and we can start sauteing. Yeah, we seasoned our pork chops up with uh, some uh, seasoned salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper. You could also use just regular salt and regular pepper, but uh, the seasoned salt adds a dimension to it, and uh, the cayenne pepper makes it just add a little more spice to it. Our uh, pot's up to uh, hot now, so we've got both of our pork chops here. I'm going to put them into there to start the sauteing process. Adding a little bit of uh, seasoned salt to this side of the chops. Cayenne pepper. Okay, at this point we're using again the Smith's garlic by Goya. Always like to pour a little bit of the juice over top of them. And some garlic over top of them there. Just love to smell that garlic. And over at the side there, she's enjoying the garlic smell also. What we're going to do is we're going to cook these for about two minutes on each side and then we're going to flip them over here. A little more garlic on this other side. I want to Add quite a bit of garlic here because these are creamy garlic uh, pork chops. Another flip over here. And these are pretty big, big chops. They're thick. So we're going to give them a good saute. Alright, now we've got these uh, chops sauteed up pretty nicely. We're going to remove them out of here. Now we're going to add, we're adding uh, beef broth. You could do this with chicken broth. I had to be out of chicken broth, but we're going to do it with beef broth. So we're adding that to the pot in order to deglaze the bottom of the pot. Get all those goodies off the bottom. Uh, all that flavor underneath underneath there. So we're going to kind of just scrape up a lot of the, uh, the goodies on the bottom of the pot. Now I'm going to use a packet. These are uh, ham uh, flavor. There's a concentrate in a little packet. So I'm going to add uh, one of these little packets here because it's all about you're making up a gravy or a sauce like this. You want to add your layers of flavor. And uh, this stuff's really pretty good at uh, uh, keeping the flavor. We're going to add a little more of the, uh, the garlic. Because after all, this is garlic um, pork chops. So you got to add plenty of garlic to it. I should measure things, but I kind of go by the seat of my pants on that. Uh, so we're going to... Uh, Next step, we're going to add our pork chops back to it. Let this kind of come up to simmer and then add our pork chops back to it. Now we got our plan deglazed and uh, warmed up our uh, beef broth in that. We're going to add the two thick chops right back into it. Uh, put our lid on here. Put it in the lock position and get ready to uh, 
do it in our cooking mode. All right, since we just had uh, done some salt tan, what we want to do here is go ahead and hit the cancel. And then we want to hit the uh, steam mode. Let's hit the, the uh, pressure cook mode. We want to set this for eight minutes. Count it down till we get to eight. There's eight. And it'll automatically switch over here in a minute and go into that mode and it'll cook itself for eight minutes so it's on ready to cook into the uh, pressure mode pressure cook mode all right we've uh, after it's cooked it's eight minutes we went ahead and let it set for uh, another ten minutes and now we're going to release the uh, pressure All right, so there wasn't a whole lot of pressure because we let it set for about 10 minutes to continue cooking. The uh, valve has popped down, so we'll take the lid off. Okay, now we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, remove the uh, pork chops, lay them out here on the plate. We're going to uh, go ahead and hit this on to the, uh, hit the cancel, and then go back here onto the uh, saute mode again. And what we'll want to do is uh, let this kind of come up to boil again. We've got our uh, broth left over from cooking the uh, chops back up to uh, boiling. So now we're going to add, this is a quarter cup of half and half, so we're going to stir that and add this into the pot here. Go ahead, continue to go ahead and let it, uh, let it come up to boil. We're done now. We're making a uh, gravy that we can use on our mashed potatoes and over our chops. So what we're going to do, it's it's kind of boiling again here. I'll let that boil a few minutes. It'll start thicken up here. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and add this is cornstarch. So we're going to slowly add this cornstarch here as to thicken it up to as making a garlic infused gravy. We're just going to continue to slowly add it until we get the thickness. We might use the whole cup. What I've used here about a half a cup of water and two teaspoons of uh, cornstarch. I'm going to go ahead and finish adding that all in. And this should start to reduce down and thicken up to make a gravy on it. Now if you need to add more you can always mix up more water and cornstarch to uh, get it thicker. Alright the gravy is thicked up really nice here. So we got a nice creamy gravy. We'll put this over the chops and uh, put it over the uh, mashed potatoes. Okay guys, here we go. We've got uh, creamy pork chops with mashed potatoes. So uh, let's give it a try. It's really a nice thick pork chop. Like it's done all the way through. Mm, very garlicky, very creamy. A little uh, mashed potatoes. We got it. That's really good. Okay, guys, this is our uh, creamy garlic uh, pork chops with mashed potatoes. Came out real good, so uh, I invite you to try this. Hey, if you enjoyed our uh, little cooking video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave your questions in the uh, uh, comment section below. If you uh, not subscribe, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see you at the next time. Happy eating. I just want to let you guys know we do have stickers available now. If you uh, look in the description area below, you'll see a uh, link where it links there to uh, my uh, PayPal site, and you can order their $5 each. So uh, if you like some stickers, just click on the link down below.